Hello, my name is Krista Mahon. I'm from Batavia, Ohio. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Today we're gonna be um, inking these pot holders. They are a teal color blue. They are so pretty. It's maybe aqua teal color. We are gonna be using our regular size small squeegee and ink, which is permanent after heat setting. And this is Storm. We are gonna be using this transfer. It's a B size transfer. It's called Kiss the Cook. So we have food, family, and friends, and then kiss the cook. It's what we call a cut apart. We're going to cut it down the middle. So we're going to go ahead and mark the transfer packaging because our transfers are reusable 8 to 12 times. So once they are used and dried, we'll put them back in the packaging. We're going to go ahead and cut this with our transfer trimmers. Our transfer trimmers are really cool because they're lefty and righty, and they do not... Um, rust so that is really neat anytime you see a line like this this means it's a cut apart okay you can leave it whole if you want to or you can cut it so we're gonna go ahead and mark our front and our back so this one is gonna be kiss the cook and then this one is gonna be we'll just do food family and friends which is perfect for the fall because I always say football food, family, and friends. So it's pretty cool. So these are going to fit right on here. We usually use our ink mat to hold our um, surface in place and it doesn't bleed through. These are pretty thick, so I don't think we're going to have any problems. So I'm going to leave the ink mat out. If you um, are doing fabric, you don't need to fuzz your transfer. So we're just going to peel it right off the backing and set this aside. If you're doing this on anything else, uh, wood, chalkboard, uh, metal, plastic, you will want to um, fuzz the transfer. But since we're doing it on ink and fabric, we do not have to fuzz. Now these are a um, quilted, so it's not gonna be as clean of an ink or chalk um, because of the little indentions of the quilt, but I think it's still gonna turn out great. So we're just gonna make sure we have it pushed down. We're going to be opening our paste here or our ink here. I think this is a brand new one. So when they are brand new guys, I always have some on the lid and shipping. Okay. So what I do is I take my squeegee and I just get it as much as I can off the lid as possible. And I put it right back in my jar. Okay. And then I keep this little foam piece, put it back in the lid. And this is ink and it is permanent. So you just want to make sure that if you have a mess, like I do, that you wipe it up right away. I always use just Clorox uh, wipes. You can use paper towels, um, whatever you would like. I'm going to use our stir stick, which is plastic, to stir up our ink. Ink is thinner than paste. It's a thinner consistency. And you always want to make sure you don't have any on your hands that sometimes does happen <laughs> and I um, wash my stir sticks and my squeegees they are reusable I wash them at the end so I put them in the pa uh, bath of water next to me same thing with the um, transfers I wash them in the bath of water and then you dry them sticky side up so that sharpie mark should be face down when you're drying okay so I'm gonna dip the squeegee into the ink and when I do ink I just put it on nice and thick I try not to go over it too many times and like I said, these are quilted, so I put it on nice and thick, and the quilted part may be a little bit, um, it might not be into the groove as much, but I think it's still going to turn out great. You can always buy pot holders that um, don't have the quilted part, which might be better, but I feel like you still get the same um turn out here so I'm going to make sure I don't have it on my hands and then we're just going to peel the transfer and even though it is quilted I think it looks amazing guys all right so to wash this I put this in the bath of water I just use uh, my hands here and a board eraser to get the ink off of it and you want to dry sticky side up like I said um, so it doesn't stick onto whatever you're drying once it hits the water it's no longer sticky but as it dries, it gets stickier, okay? So um, I just wipe it down. You can use a board eraser or Clorox wipes. Um, you just wanna wipe it down. I will show you, let me move this real quick. I will show you what it looks like. So that is wiped down and we wanna dry sticky side up, okay? 
So sticky side up on the transfer itself. And then once it's dry, guys, you just put it right back on the backer sheet. Okay. And like I said, it won't be sticky once it hits the water. Okay. So let's just do our next one. So how cute is that? Love it. All right, so our next pot holder here. Make sure I don't have no water here. Smooth it out. We're going to peel the transfer. Set this aside. We've already marked it. To heat set this, guys, we will use our uh, heat press or you can use an iron. Um, I always highly recommend either parchment paper or you can use um, Teflon paper. I will show you what that looks like. Teflon paper is what I use. I was, I know parchment paper you can kind of reuse as well, but uh, the parchment paper um, it would just get all wrinkled and you know gobbed up. So I started using the Teflon paper. So you want to just put this on your design, put your iron or heat press on the design for uh, 30 seconds at um, 350 degrees. Okay, and then it's permanent. So these could get wet. Um, and they could be washed. Okay, so that's what ink is. So we're just going to make sure this is down. And I love this transfer. It's really cute. That would be really cute. Kiss the cook on an apron. I think that would turn out perfect as well. I am trying to get it into the quilted areas a little bit thicker. You can heat set right away. Um, I always usually wait unless I'm in a rush for or something I'm making someone. Um, I usually wait um, 24 hours. Um, the ink will be a little bit tacky still. Um, if you want to speed up the process, you can use the quick dry tool or a blow dryer or a heat gun. Um, you just want to make sure that it doesn't come off on your hands before you um, heat set. It's another reason why we put the paper on there. Kind of dabbing it in where the quilted part is. I think we're good, guys. So make sure it's not on our hands. And we will peel my favorite part. Oh my gosh, guys. How cute is that? All right, so we wash. Um, the transfer is 8 to 12 times, guys. It can be used. So this can be put on a board, a surface, um, apron. It can be inked on a shirt for kids to cook. It can be pasted, which is our washable paste. Um, it can be pasted on a chalkboard, metal, plastic, um, whatever your heart desires. And 8 to 12 times, guys. Okay, so we're just going to wash it down. Dry sticky side up, and I will show you both. And thank you all for joining and watching my live um, here for the day. Let's show you both. And this is Storm Gray. Squeegee goes in the bath of water. We clean it later. Storm Gray ink, which is permanent, right here. And here is Kiss the Cook, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you could subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.